If I was to define the themes for 2023 interiors, I would think about luxury, minimalism, brutalism, structural and material honesty. supply chain was very difficult. There was shipping problems, getting hold of even basic materials. What we did is we invested in what we could see were the most popular materials and we had started to hold stock of things. So it was a big uh, investment to do that, but it enabled us to deliver effectively on projects. The biggest challenge is that the clients, they don't want anything off the shelf. They want everything bespoke. So this is where the designers have to um, contribute and deal with, with the people. They have to contribute on, on changing the existing uh, or adapting the existing to their design, uh, be it with the fabrics or with the finishes or the tones, but also creating bespoke elements that the local uh, craftsmanship has to also cater for. We used to um, create a concept and then trying to find materials available in the local market to implement uh, them on the concept. But now uh, we choose to make a research first to see what's available and then uh, with what's available you create uh, the concept. That minimizes the time, uh, the transit time of the, the concept to be materialized. Dubai is a very dynamic market and uh, we are influenced by people around the globe. They come with their culture, they come with their design and they come with their patterns. As a company we stock more than 18,000 uh, products in Dubai so we have to be sensible and mindful of choosing the right products. They used to do their houses to show, you know, for guests and people. And some of the times they didn't realize that a house is a house for you, for you to enjoy it. So 80% um, of the space, you know, especially in the ground floor, in the ground floor area, it was like divided only for guests. Now it became something that is changing because they really wanted to have a house when they are also enjoying it and then also welcoming people. Gone from being, uh, having multiple entertaining spaces, spaces that might be reserved for those large, more formal occasions, to now using those spaces in a different way. So we see a lot more playrooms uh, for children, study areas, home offices, um, cinemas and libraries, much more commonplace. People weren't going out to see movies, but they wanted the movie experience in their homes. You can still entertain people in, in what you call majlis, but it's no longer majlis for like once a year uh, iftar or, or you know occasions. It's a majlis for every day. The interest of uh, shaping an interior and architecture is more about the spatial experience rather than the elements uh, themselves. To create moments and feelings, that's about, the house is about that. And to live in a house that you are comfortable and it matches with your lifestyle again. People have started realizing that what's required is to start removing uh, from a design rather than adding uh, more elements. So we see that people are not afraid anymore of emptiness, of uh, vacant space. So we, we tend to create a calm and a natural ambience and then maybe we splash points of interest, which used to be the other way around. Brutalism is coming. Unfortunately, not everyone knows it. I, I have clients who say, oh, I want the natural and then they open the mobile on their Pinterest and it's all brutalism. It's all the natural finishes, whether it's concrete or stone or timber or fabrics. You can see that natural vibe, the tone, nothing is stained, nothing is polished. Uh, it's pure brutalism that's coming back. What I've really noticed um, coming up more is this textural um, feeling. So whether it's tactile natures of fabrics, natural materials and stones, that a sustainable approach. It started with Boucle actually, that was the gateway and it got its five minutes. Now we see less of it, but the tactile fabrics are here to stay. 